joining me now for more on this from Silver Spring, Maryland, is Michel Del Buono. He's a consultant for the UN's develop development program. Thank you very much, Michel, for joining us here on TRT World. First and foremost, let me get your thoughts on this tragedy. Well, um, uh, there's been quite a loss, uh, a large amount of loss of life, and certainly it should be investigated. Uh, and uh, Having been raised in a humanistic tradition of Europe, I consider every loss of life to be a disaster that should be avoided at all possible cost. Uh, although I'm a consultant and have been a consultant for fire, various UN agencies and the World Bank and other regional development banks, I am speaking now in my personal capacity. However, the attempted crossing at Melilla uh, today and in the recent past, all other attempted crossings are designed probably to cause casualties to embarrass both the Moroccan government and the Spanish government. Uh, initially, some of these were instigated by the Moroccan government when it wanted to pressure Spain to do something like uh, uh, recognize its annexation of former Spanish Sahara. Uh, Spain and Morocco have recently mended fence, and, and this time the Moroccan authorities were trying to prevent the uh, assault on uh, on uh, Melilla. These these mass assaults remind uh, me of the World War One. Charges when foot soldiers charged against machine guns, and this is cannon fodder. A few hundred crossed the fence, although 2,500 attempted the crossing, which means that those who succeeded were stepping over those who had fallen at the foot of the wall of the fence. So it's uh, I think it's uh, designed this way now that, uh, as I say, Morocco and Spain are on good terms. These uh, attempts are organized by uh, what are called uh, jackals, those who transport people illegally across borders. Uh, since this is a land border, uh, people don't go into ships or boats and, and risk perishing at sea. They risk to perish uh, smothered by their friends and colleagues and their neighbors who step on them in order to cross over the fence. Anyway, uh, basically, okay. I think the, the, these things are designed to that they loss of life okay. is difficult. Now, Michelle, to uh, in your response, uh, you mentioned uh, investigation. I believe investigations have taken place in the past, but the problem is no one is held accountable. According to the UN, more than 3,000 migrants died on their way to Europe in 2021. Well, uh, sometimes it turns out that they died due to excessive use of force by some European powers, and sometimes it turns out that there were illegal pushbacks. I'm not sure if you have an answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. How many more migrants have to die before someone is held accountable? Well, uh, the question itself, I don't think, is a legitimate question. The point is that the people to be held accountable are not just the Spanish or the Moroccan authorities, but all the people who make money by pushing people illegally across borders. Some of those people are also to be held accountable. And those rarely are because they're small fish. It's difficult to see who the boss is, and therefore we tend to attack the more visible authorities, which, of course, should be held accountable and should also be investigated as needed. And it is obviously the case now, since a large number of people went to their death uh, in this crossing. Michelle Del Buno, it's always a pleasure speaking to you, sir. Thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time. Thank you very much.